Vagabonds. I am here in Conibraga, and it is an old um, Roman ruins that uh, spans back centuries, and uh, there's so many cool things here. So uh, let me go ahead and show you to it. And uh, if you haven't hit the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, such already, go ahead and do so now. And uh, We'll go ahead and uh, get you seeing some of these uh, ancient ruins. This place is crazy. I suggest when you are visiting Koning Briga to go to the visitor center. Uh, do this the first thing. It's part of the tour. The tour only costs uh, uh, six euros and it includes going through the archaeological site. Uh, but it gives you a great understanding of the excavations by the archaeologists. And this you can find in things that in here that included the coins that they used to uh, purchase products, surgical tools, utensils, ceramics. Uh, all, it's so neat to like see and to, to see like this is kind of like what our civilization was built upon. Um, this gives a broader understanding of the importance of this Roman city. Braga is one of the largest Roman settlements excavated in Portugal and was classified as a national monument in 1910. This settlement was located uh, near the uh, civil parish of uh, Condesha a Veja and Condesha a Nueva, which is the old and uh, new cities of uh, Condesha. And, uh, this is situated about two kilometers away from the municipal seat and about 16 kilometers from Coimbra. And Conimbraga uh, was established between 561 and 572 AD, although Conimbraga was not the most significant Roman city in Portugal, it is the best preserved. Archaeologists estimate that only 10% of the town has been excavated. Conibraga is a walled urban settlement encircled by a curtain of stone structures approximately 1,500 meters or almost uh, 5,000 feet long. And the uh, this wall here was about 3 meters wide, so it's pretty thick to uh, to help protect the um, area. There were two passages that you could uh, go through to enter into the main part of the city and they're not currently um, up due to this being ruins but there were two doors that were on hinges and uh, had two towers. Um, the walls are paralleled by two passages channeled to excavations that removed water infiltration from these walls, which it's amazing to think about how much uh, thought was thought about to provide for the city back in, uh, you know, thousands of years ago. It's just completely fascinating. The urban settlement consisted of various structures. Um, these buildings included a, a forum, a basilica, and commercial shops. And uh, underneath these buildings, there are aqueducts that provided water to thermal spas and fountains. Um, homes of various heights were built and, cl and included interior patios that had these amazing mosaics on the floors. And the more intricate ones were uh, where the uh, wealthy residents lived. And what these areas were called were domas. 
and uh, this is known as the uh, Casa dos Rupus and uh, Casa de Cantabar. And these buildings had uh, the, the most intricate of mosaics on the floor. So it's super cool to see um, these mosaics because this is kind of like what they would consider their, their carpeting. Um, and they, were, they really wanted to impress um, their, the people that came to, to visit them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're no, new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out in the algorithms. And uh, if you want to learn more about uh, different parts of Portugal, definitely hit the bell to be notified of uh, my next videos coming up. I have some really cool things coming up on uh, uh, Coimbra and different uh, areas in Coimbra. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a little more um, breakdown of different cities that I went to and kind of give a ranking of things here in the future. So if you like that, please hit the subscribe button. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.